Hi guys, so today on Wendy Wahito, we're gonna make some grilled fish steaks, some rice, some salsa, and some tartar sauce. And with me, I have my very good friend and my guest for today, Miss Carol Odero. Hi guys. So basically, we're just gonna start off with the fish. Um, I got some filet. This is actually red snapper. So what we're gonna do is cut it into some strips mm -hmm. and then marinate it. Okay. This is the bowl where you are going to be putting the ingredients. Okay. Yeah. This is some garlic. It's about one teaspoon of garlic. And this is one and a half teaspoons of ginger. Mm -hmm. They're both crushed because you're marinating. So you want the um, flavors to sink into the meat mm -hmm. completely. We also have some spices here some black pepper and salt, mandatory <laughs> to any <laughs> marinade. Um, we have some basil. We have a mixture of cayenne pepper and paprika, sweet paprika. This is just to give it a bit of heat and some mixed spice and curry powder. Okay. We're also going to add some fresh lemon, some sesame oil and soy sauce. How long is the fish marinated for? Just about 20 to 30 minutes. So you want the flavors to soak in completely so even when the marinade comes out from the fridge, it won't really taste like you, you could smell the flavors already. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to be too fishy at the same time, yeah? Just put it in. Yeah, just put, put it all in. Yeah. Put the garlic? Yeah. Just do a little sprinkle of black pepper and salt. Just want to make sure that um, everything goes inside the bowl evenly. Mm -hmm. You don't want some parts of the fish not to have the same taste, but that's also one of the main reasons why you marinate your fish before you cook it. So all the flavors can soak in. So I'm gonna just put in about two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon. I'm just gonna put in some mixed spices. Mm -hmm. but we're just gonna put some oil. This is gonna combine all the spices together. This is sesame oil. It's really good on fish. You have to put oil in all your marinades just to combine the flavors. Then I'm gonna put just like about three dashes of soy sauce just to give it that flavor. So now we're going to make the rice. Um, I already pre-cooked it. Here I have one red onion. I'm just gonna chop it up into round slices and we're gonna use it to start sauteing the rice. And I love cooking with red onions. I think the flavor, like it deserves the flavor, like when you're cooking it. We have the onions ready. Are they turning brown when you fry Yeah, them? we're just like caramelizing them a bit. This is a pinch of black pepper, <laughs> yeah. And this is a pinch of salt, just to help with the caramelizing. And the beauty about the wok, like it heats up evenly. So we're gonna add some paprika and cayenne pepper, just a pinch, just for some heat. Then I'm gonna add all of this curry powder, about tea, two teaspoons. Some mixed spice. So here we have some tomato paste. I'm just gonna put two teaspoons, heaped. The rice is going to be with sweet and sour. More like sweet and spicy. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Because with the done with the fish, mm. it will just be bam together. <laughs> like you're gonna love me. Oh, good. <laughs> so we can add the sultanas. And then here we have some desiccated coconut. So it's just gonna put like just a bit. So we can add the rice now. Finally. Yay. <laughs> This should be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Just remember to pre-cook the rice. <laughs> Don't go putting raw rice and expecting it to come out like this. It won't, trust me. So this just gives the rice some color and flavor. And our rice is ready. Okay. That's it. This is good to know. I never really know how much is too little or too much. Yeah. When it comes to cooking I ingredients. mean, just follow your heart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it will not disappoint. Yeah, it won't. Okay, mine doesn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're now making some tartar sauce. As you can see, <laughs> Miss Super Chef here is chopping up the onions. So just make sure they're finely chopped before you put it in the mayo. This is about a, a cup and a half of mayo. And we also have some dania, also known as coriander in the outside world. <laughs> chop it finely as well. I'm gonna show you an easy way how to chop dania. Take off the whole root part like this part and then like twist them together like twist all the leaves together you want to start from this part so this is where all the flavor is so the more you go towards the leaves just make sure you're like holding them together and twisting so that you can cut them all together see pretty fine so we're just gonna put this as well into our meal I'm just gonna mix it up are we adding anything else? Yeah, salt and pepper, mandatory. Then I'm gonna add some freshly ground mint. We just need to keep this in the fridge to cool for a bit. Okay. Yeah, so it can be ready for the fish. So next we're gonna make some Salsa, aka kachumbari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use a green apple, the other half of the onion that we had, and a tomato and a half. You're pretty good at chopping. <laughs> You're really good. Oh, have you been practicing? I have been practicing for this. <laughs> So we're just gonna take it in our little bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna mix everything inside in. It's nice and easy and fresh. Okay. I like the colors. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of lemon just to give the apple that pickly taste. And I'm gonna take a bit of white vinegar. You just want a teeny wincy bit of it. So, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle a pinch of salt mm -hmm. and a pinch of pepper. There we go. Now we can cook our fish. Okay. <laughs> so I have a baking tray right here. Grease it just a bit with the sesame oil. So I'm just gonna go with my fingers and just sprinkle it like that. Then you can start placing the fish inside. I cannot wait to eat this fish. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Just going to take some sprigs of rosemary. Mm -hmm. And just place them here. Yeah. I already preheated my oven um, at 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep flipping it, mm -hmm. but just for now, I'm just gonna put it in the oven to let it start cooking. And let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. So our fish is ready now. Mm -hmm. Sun looks healthy and nice for you, <laughs> Miss Carol. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take some salsa that we made earlier on. Take some and put it on top of the fish. So you just want to compress the rice completely so that it makes the shape of the bowl that you're using. And then just pour it on the plate just like that. And mm -hmm. just leave it for a few seconds and then lift it up slowly. That looks good. So and then we're going to take some tartar sauce on the side. And there goes your plate. Oh. <laughs> That's the reaction we like. That's the reaction we like, guys. That is amazing. I am such a good cook. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm. The blend between the rice and the fish, mm -hmm. the spicy and the sweet. See how it comes out now? It's perfectly balanced. Yeah. yeah. So that's it for today. This is pretty easy. You can do it at home for your family and friends. Me and Carol are going to have a sit at a lovely garden mm -hmm. and enjoy our meal. Bye! Bye!